is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football. We are life in football. You are now listening to the Life in Football podcast. Check out the new website, lifeinfootball.com. Once again, the website is lifeinfootball.com. Thanks for listening. Welcome to the Life in Football podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this is your co-host, Colin Moore. You know we love in life and enjoying football. Today, our very special guest is Shane Magoo. And he's a top-notch baller coming out of FIU, baby, South Florida in the house. And he coming straight from Tampa, Florida. That's where he played his high school at, I mean, high school football at, Gator High School. And he was a center for FIU. And he's now going into the NFL, y'all, the NFL draft that is coming up in 2021. Now, he wore the number 55, and he was playing center on the film I saw. But he was looking good. I'm talking about he almost was looking like one of the twi- the Pouncey twins in the NFL when at the film I saw. He out there calling out the linebacker and everything I seen from him. I'll take, I'll give him a shot if I was an NFL team, hands down. And then he got a brother, y'all, who's also in the NFL by the name of Alex Magoo, who's a quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. And the thing y'all got to know, about Shane, he had a strong season, season, and he was on a lot of these watch lists. That's what they call them for us for offensive linemen. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and quit talking and let C Mo bring him on. How you doing, Shane? Good, good. How are you guys doing? Great, man. It's a blessing to have you on, man. Yeah, appreciate you guys having me. Now, Shane, I got to know how was it. First, I know it's a business trip, but you got to tell me, how was it being in Hawaii, man? Yeah, you know, it was pretty, it was really cool. That was my, uh, that was my first time going out there. So, you know, tell and just being able to see how beautiful that place was, was really, really cool. And, you know, it, yeah, number one thing is it was a business trip, you know, so we had a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff to do football wise there, but we did get a, we did get a good amount of free time. So we got to, you know, walk around and go on the beach and see a bunch of the different stores. Now, and stuff how they was had it there. performing so overall, it was a great in experience. front of all those scouts that got to see you all week long? Yeah, you know, there's always a, uh, it's always in the back of your mind, you know, when you're practicing and you know that there's scouts watching you, but, you know, it's kind of like he always say, you know, the, the first play, you know, you go out there and you got the jitters and then, you know, you, 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 you do one play and then it's, you know, the rest is football. So you kind of just now put it for y'all who may not know game. what they talking about, they talking about the hula bowl that was in Hawaii. And it's an all-star game for college football players who going in the draft, going into the draft and, that's what they're talking about, that great experience that he had. And I just got to know, just, you know, from that experience to how was it for your brother knowing that you was going over there to Hawaii to play in the bowl game and he's already in that field? Like, did your family go and was he a little jealous as well? So uh, he, he obviously, he actually talked about going out there before, but with all the uh, the COVID stuff going on, you know, traveling's a little different nowadays. So my family actually did stay home, but they all were pretty jealous that I was getting to go out there and have a, you know, a paid for trip to Hawaii, you know, just to go, just to be able to go out there and play a football game. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about the COVID stuff. I, and that thing is pretty serious, man. And I understand with them staying home. And speaking of your parents, give us some insight on them. how was it for you growing up and, you know, how did it become, you know, a family thing for us football with you and your brothers? 
yeah so b- my whole family you know is I come from like an athletic background you know both my parents played college sports my dad played college football my mom played volleyball in college Cole was uh in the NFL actually he played for the Chiefs and the Redskins uh my grandma was on a professional basketball team um you know it keeps going my cousins played um college college ball my sister played softball you know so we we played Growing up, me and Alex were playing, you know, pretty much every sport there was, baseball, soccer. I played lacrosse for about five years. Uh, we, were, we were even on a swim team, you know. So we were pretty much just doing whatever sports we could, you know, and then we both really fell in love with football at an early age, and that's kind of what – So, Shane, when did you know that you was actually going to be a center? Because I seen that at FIU you played all across the line, so – when did you actually know that center was a position for you to go all the way through? Did you know or did the coaching staff tell you? Yeah, you know, that was pretty much a uh, – you can say that the coaching staff kind of told me. You know, when I first got to high school, I still wanted to be a linebacker. So I told uh, – you know, I got in the coaches – when I went to, to the JV practices, you know, I said, I'm a linebacker. And I honestly had only played linebacker for about a year in Pop Warner ball. So, uh, so that, that, you know, it worked for a couple of years, but then, uh, once I started playing offensive line in high school, I was a tackle. And then once I got to college, you know, my coach pretty much told me, you know, you're going to be a center here at FIU. And then, so I was, you know, I played center for my, my true freshman year and then my redshirt freshman year. And then my coach told me that he wanted me to play guard. So then, you know, you switch your focus up and then, you know, I switched to right guard back to center. You know, I was just bouncing around. So you kind of just got to lock in and do whatever they tell you and whatever the team needs you to do. Now, since you played all of them positions, that makes you very much super valuable to anybody team. So with you knowing that, what has your thinking been going into it? Like, you know that you can play pretty much any position on the line. How does that make you feel getting ready for the NFL draft? Yeah, you know, it gives you gives you a lot of a lot of good confidence because in in today's NFL, you know, they only they only suit up you know probably seven maybe eight offensive linemen. So those backup guys, you know, they're not one position guys. If you want to be able to make a practice squad or you know a roster as a backup guy, or even be a starter, you know, you got to be able to play multiple positions. And for like an interior guy, you got to be able to play both sides and you got to be able to snap the ball. So having done that in college, you know, really gives me, you know, confidence in my abilities that I can do that at the next level. Shane, I got to know a very important question. How did you end up choosing to play football at FIU? And, And if there was other options, could you let us know that as well? Yeah, you know, so my... My decision was probably easier than most guys. You know, my brother's two years older than me. He's a quarterback. I knew I was going to play center. And that's kind of how you draw it up. You know, if you can snap to your brother in a college game and be able to block for him, uh, you know, that's kind of what you want. And he was already there. And then once I got the offer from FIU, you know, I pretty much knew I wanted to go play ball with my brother. So that kind of made it easy for me. But, uh, you know, I really wasn't a very highly recruited guy coming out of high school. You know, I had – I had, you know, some looks and stuff like that from other, you know, Conference USA schools and and kind of like, like, uh, you know, l- lower level schools and and some more D1 and stuff like that. But I committed pretty early. Uh, I got the FIU offer the beginning of summer going into my senior year, I believe it was. So, I, you know, re- I committed the day after I got it. So I didn't really leave my recruiting open for too long. So how was it playing with your brother and also seeing him go off to the NFL? Yeah, you know, it was awesome, you know, just to be, you know, just to be able to go to college, you know, with your brother and move down there. And, you know, you don't you don't have to worry about getting there and not knowing anybody and stuff like that, you know, because I'd already been coming around the program for two years prior to that. So, you know, I already kind of knew some of the guys and stuff like that, and they really just kind of the whole team kind of took me in as their younger brother, you know? Um, so, you know, that was pretty cool. Um, and then once, once, you know, to see him go off the NFL and, you know, make it to, you know, what we've been practicing since we were little kids in the backyard, you know, that, you know, it was, you know, so cool. And, you know, you can always be, you can never be, you know, so proud of somebody, you know, to see him accomplish like what he's been working on since he was so young. 
Shane, I got one thing for you, man. I done, we've been to Gaither about two times this past football season to record games. And the, y'all, you know, y'all got a lot of playmakers over there. Mm-hmm. But every time I left, I'm laughing to myself like, these guys right down the street from the Bucks Stadium and the practice field. So how does it feel to be that close to the Bucks and and you can possibly end up at the Bucks? How does that actually feel to you? You know, it's it's crazy to, to think that, you know, you could play in, in high school, you know, 10 minutes down the road and po- – from an NFL team and possibly be able to play there too, you know, just to be able to think about, you know, being able to play for your home, your home city, you know, everybody wants that, you know, it would be, it would be unbelievable, but you know, at this level, you know, you take what you can get, you know, it doesn't matter where you end up as long as you get there. Shane, the last question I got for you, and it's not necessarily a question, but it's something that, I want you to be able to present to any NFL scout, any team, or any uh, Canada team is letting them know, hey, what type of asset you will be for their team and what benefit you will be as well just off the field and the type of person you are. Yeah, so, you know, a few of the things that, I, you know, I would like to, for them to know, um, it's kind of one of the things we talked about, you know, I'm, I'm able to play all three positions in the middle. And I think that's really important in today's league. Um, I'm smart. I have, I have a great football IQ. I understand the game very well. Um, I move well. And other than that, you know, I'm, I, I love, I love playing offensive line. Like, I think I've said this before. I think like the offensive line mindset is kind of a dying breed. You know, a lot of guys aren't, aren't, it like hard nosed gritty guys that just like to get in there and just headbutt each other all game long, you know, and that's the stuff that I live for. And uh, I love leading the guys in the middle. I love playing center. I love being a leader. I love making calls. I love being the commander of the offensive line. And, and, you know, those are the things that like, I believe really stand out about myself. Yes, sir. Y'all heard it right there. That's Shane Magoo. Now, y'all heard him say he wanted to play linebacker coming out well, into his high school days. He wears number 55, y'all. That let you know right there. He was a dog and he wanted it. Go watch the film yourself. Y'all heard me say he remind me of the Ponce twin when I'm watching him down there at center. He's very athletic. He played at FIU. He played against big time uh, uh, competition, played against the Miami Hurricanes. And every time I saw him, he was out there dominating. And he got the paint all over his face, do rag on. And he out there trying to make something happen every play. Just know if you get this guy, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. He already has a brother, Alex Magoo playing at Seattle Seahawks. That's just like the twins from Central Florida who up there at Seattle right now. Two brothers in the league. What better to have when you got a person who already understands what it takes, he coming from a high level or playing ball, a very athletic family. How can you lose, man? Any NFL team, any NFL scout, because I know somebody going to be listening. Take a chance on this guy, and I guarantee you, you're going to love what you see, and you might get a bonus too. But I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down. I guess you'll fall to the ground. It's the Life and Football Podcast. Catch you next time. You are now listening to the Life and Football Podcast. Check out the new website, lifeandfootball.com, Once again, the website is lifeandfootball.com. Thanks for listening.
try to get right This is a new day to get on track Yeah, that's life in football This is a new day to live your life This is a new day to try to get right This is a new day to get on track Yeah, that's life in football It's life in football We are life in football